This is my 2002 Triumph Daytona 955i. And I've been looking on the internet, but I haven't been able to find like uh, an exhaust that anybody's done, you know, with an exhaust cutout. So I'm gonna make this bike from really quiet and I'm gonna put an exhaust clamp on there. And uh, it's gonna be like an exhaust cutout. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we'll see. Hopefully, it comes out good. Hey, this is the thing that I got for it. I got it on eBay. I was gonna put it on the car, but I decided to change my mind on it and put it on the bike. Beauties. idea somehow but this inside something like this so I'm gonna have the exhaust right there the quiet one and then the bottom one will open up and I just gotta figure out how to make it all work. The other stuff that comes with it comes with this, and it comes with the electrical harness. Let's see, plug it up to the battery. Remove from the battery. Plug it up right there. And you put this on your keys and turn it on and off. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Very restrictive, that's for sure. So, you can see inside there. Kind of see, there's a lot of baffles. It makes the bike really quiet, but it takes a lot of power off too. Now here, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cut that piece out right there. Uh, let me see. What I did, I took a regular band clamp. Cut it in half like this. This way, I don't. I mean, I'm really got, don't have a whole lot of room. And on my tailpipe, so that I could make it go in further back, I cut about three quarters of an inch. And this way, the clamp mouse slides in further, thus giving me more room. So now, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this right there and then I'm gonna cut it over here somewhere and then this here I'm gonna cut it about here so this is gonna meet up over here and I'll probably cut a little bit over here more and that's gonna meet with this I mean this is all temporary I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a whale dip but for now, just to test it out, see how it works. Because I'm too impatient to wait for somebody to come and weld it for me. And let's see what happens. Let me cut these up. Let's see how this works. Just finished cutting. Just finished cutting it off here. Uh, I'm gonna have a TIG welder here. 
but for now, until I can get that done, I'm gonna put the clamp. All right, I tightened up my impact. It's actually pretty good. <clears throat> That slid in a lot further in. And then, try to make this other part work over here. pipe went over there. I just finished cutting this and here goes my other half clamp. There. Now I gotta cut this pipe about right here. Right, I think that, that'll be the straightest. Maybe right about there. Alright, let's see. Okay. There we are. All put together. Well, I haven't wired it up yet, but that clamp that I did, half the size worked perfect. You can see the crease right there with the two me. But it gave me a lot of room. And the same thing over here. All I gotta do now is tighten this one up. This one I already tightened it with my impact. And I still got plenty of room. It won't, touch, it won't hit the floor. Uh, now what I'm gonna do. Okay. Wire it up. All it is battery, positive, negative, and wire it through the bike and put a switch somewhere up here on the handlebar somewhere. We'll see how it goes. All right. Here it is, all complete. It's got the stock muffler. Like really, really quiet. And there goes my cutout.